This is a video on how to make this switch on a pole. Kind of looks like she's flying. I made probably five or six of these over 20 years ago and gave them away to family members. This year I decided to make one for myself. It didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. The legs I think are too far apart. So when I'm showing you how to do it, you may want to make yours a little bit closer together by making the pelvis area more narrower. And the hands, I used, I remember I used to turn the gloves inside out and paint them, but this year I wanted to try it without turning the gloves inside out, and the paint didn't stick. It really sticks good if you turn the gloves you use for the hands inside out. It's kind of a long project to do. It's not something you're going to do in one afternoon, but I think the results are okay. So I'll show you how I did it. Hope you enjoy it. To build the torso of the witch, you'll need a one by four inch by six foot piece of wood cut into four pieces. A 32 inch piece, a 16 and a half inch piece, a 12 and a half inch piece, and 11 and a, I mean 11 inch piece. On the longer piece, you'll need to angle one of the uh, ends to about maybe 20 degrees, like this. Okay. These are the cut pieces. This piece will be the backbone. This is the shoulders. This will be the waist, and this will be the part that holds the broom. I'll show you how they go together. First, you want to attach the long piece to the short 11-inch uh, piece. I just use mending brackets like this. You want to leave about an inch back here at the end. You put one of these on the on each side, or you could use a scrap piece of wood. But you want to leave some space up here. So we'll need that area later on. So put one on each side. I'll do that now. Okay, so I have it screwed together. This is actually where the broom will attach down here. This will be, this is the backbone, the head up there. And now you can see it's kind of angled like she's riding on the broom, kind of bent over a little bit. Next we'll attach the uh, waist. To make the waist you have to attach the backbone, the backbone and the broom part to the waist board, which is, I think it was a 12 and a half one. This left over, kind of center it up in the middle, and attach some angle brackets like this. Okay, so this is where the legs will attach. Just screw those angle brackets in with some uh, short screws, whatever you got. Once you get the waist attached, attach the shoulders. Go down 10 inches from the top and use some angle brackets or you could use a scrap piece of wood and just screw it on in the center. It's about 10 inches from the top of the board. Okay, so I attached the shoulders. I kind of rounded off some of the corners too with a belt sander. Now I just got Paint the whole thing black. We'll do that now. This is what the torso looks like painted. And I'm ready to move on to the next step. For added strength, you can put some wood screws right in here and right along here to make it a little bit stronger. Just added two screws right here and right here to kind of make it a little bit stronger. To start the legs, first you need to 
attach a 7 inch piece of 3 quarters inch diameter PVC pipe right here. Screw it in with some long screws and do one on the other side. This is where the legs are going to attach. Might be a little too, too long. Maybe you could use a 6 inch. Okay, I'm going to do that now. Attach the PVC using some quarter inch, three inch long bolts and washers. For the, each leg you're going to need three pieces of PVC pipe, three quarters of an inch, two are 17 inches long and one is four, maybe five inches long and three of the 90 degree bends. These are the two legs glued together. Now I gotta add the uh, hip, hip joint. But instead of glue it, I'm gonna use a bolt so I can take it off easily to, for storage. I can take the legs off for storage. But I want it to be perpendicular to the thigh bone. So it'll be going down like that. On each one. I'm going to do that now. Alright, I added a removable bolt to the hip joint so I'll be able to take off each leg for storage. I'll make it easier to store the witch. Next on the leg, you'll want to take a large plastic bag, trash bag, and pull it over the foot up the leg. You'll have to poke a hole in the bottom of the bag. Then you'll want to tape it about four inches above the ankle, five inches with duct tape. This is what we're going to use to fill it with, to put the filling in. The bag taped on, you need to take whatever cloth you're going to use for the the witch's legging. I made this, just sewed a piece of cloth together, and I'm going to use it as her, uh, her tight. You just slide it over the plastic bag and the leg, and then you just kind of Probably, I, I'm going to use wire and just wire it on, or you could tape it. Here I have the cloth legging wrapped around the leg with some wire. And now next you have to stuff it in the bag all the way down with whatever you're going to use for stuffing. I like to use old trash bags from the grocery store. And what you notice is that the, the garbage bag is going to keep everything from getting wet in the rain because we're going to seal it up. So you, it should be pretty water, watertight. And then if the cloth gets wet, it'll, it'll, it will air dry naturally. So that's why I have the plastic bag in there. Okay, I'm going to do that now. You just take plastic bags and just shove them down in there. All the way down. So it kind of gets looking like that. After stuffing it, tape the end of the bag shut to the PVC pipe like this. Then you secure the legging to the top of the PVC pipe with tape or wire or both. You end up with a one leg. Next we'll do the foot. For the feet, I cut out four of these foot shapes from some insulation foam I got from Home Depot. It was left over from another project. And I stacked two of them up together like this, and I put duct tape around it, around them. So that's one, that's one foot, one shoe. I'm going to duct tape this one, and I'll have two shoes. Now I have four of the lower halves of the shoe, of the boot, shoe or boot. Right there. Okay, for the boot, you need a some kind of plastic tube you can put over the foot like that. It'll be the top of the boot. I'm using four inch or I think there's four inch drainage pipe. And it's cut six inches long. I'm gonna slide it over now. See how it's gonna be the top of the boot? Then I'll tape the bottom half of the boot on here and then tape it all together. And I'll leave some drain holes right here. 
forgot you have to notch, put a little notch in your plastic so it'll go over the PVC pipe and lay flush on the, the bottom part of the boot. I wrapped the duct tape all the way up the whole boot so it kind of looks like one piece. And I'll have a little drain hole down in here and on the other side. But I don't like how I have this gap right here, so I'm going to put a little piece of foam there and duct tape it in. Before you can put the legs on, you need to put two number one electrical conduit holders right down here on this base part. This is what holds the broom. And then two on the side, one here and maybe one here. Kind of line them up, and that's how she attaches to the pole. So you need to Put two here and two on the side. Okay, I'm going to do that now. Okay, now I have the the broom holder and the pole pole mounts on the frame. Put the legs on, but I think I made the pelvis too wide. You might want to make yours a little bit more narrower. I think my legs are too far apart, but we'll see. For the arms, you're going to need two pieces of PVC pipe cut 22 inches long. You'll want to drill a hole in one end. That's how you're going to attach it to the shoulder. For the hands, you're going to need some rubber gloves and some hanger. Cut the end of the hanger off like that. We're going to wrap it with some bags and tape. And we'll put it in there and it'll allow you to form kind of like a little O to hang onto the broom. And then we'll stuff the rest of the fingers with just trash bags and paint it. Bag and tape around that and I'm going to put it in the hand like that. So I put those in there and I'm going to stuff the rest of the hand with trash bags. Once you get the glove three-fourths of the way stuffed, you can put your PVC pipe in, stuff in a little bit around it, and then tape it. So it'll be something like that. These are the hands. Now I'm going to paint them green. And then they'll be ready to go on the witch. Paint them green and probably put some black paint for fingernails. To attach the arms, first you want to cut some, or at least I am, some tubes of a drainage pipe to give the shoulders a little more mass. So I'm going to put one on each side. You're going to want to drill a hole. Near the end of the board for the wire to hold the, lit, the arm on. And then, I haven't tried this before, but I'm going to try putting a piece of drainage pipe over the arm to give it kind of some, give it more mass so it looks a little more natural. If I don't like it, I'm going to take it off. Okay, I'm going to start to attach the arms now. I got the arms attached. Kind of see. I've got the old, just kind of wired up in there. Kind of loose, but that's okay, because they're going to grip onto the broom. And I'll hold them steady. Don't know if I like this part on it. But I can take it off really easy if I don't like it. Okay, now it's time for the clothes. First off, we're going to put the skirt on. It's nothing more than a trash bag, black trash bag, I think it's 33 gallon or 30 gallon, with the top cut off. So you have a hole on this end and a hole on that end. Just slide over the legs and then duct tape it around the uh, torso here. This is the skirt. Next I'm going to put a camisole or t-shirt on her, which is basically a trash bag with a hole for the head and arms to go through. And just slip it over. I don't have the camisole on. I'm going to do a shirt. The shirt's the same idea, except for you have to cut another bag in half. And then the part where you cut it, you duct tape it, so you end up with, on the seam, so you end up with two halves of a bag that are tubes, and you can make a sleeve out of them and just attach it to another bag that has the holes cut out for the sleeve and head to make a long sleeve shirt. I like to use two shirts because it makes it less see-through. This is the bag cut in half, took about an inch off each side, and then duct taped it on the seam. 
and cut the top off. So now I got two sleeves. I just gotta attach it to another bag with whole armholes in it and a head hole. I'll do that now. It's the shirt with the sleeves on. I'll cut them to length once I get it on her. I'm gonna put it on now. Okay. That's the clothes finished. For the head, you'll need a one gallon water or milk jug, this style. You just want to cut it, kind of like have, have the line right here, cut it along there, and then paint it black. This will allow you to slide the mask over it for the head. That's the milk jug used for the head painted black. I just got to put the head on. So I put the, the milk jug on and screwing it down with a couple of screws. Mask on. Got this one from Amazon. I'm just going to duct tape it on, but I don't like this hat, so I'm going to put this hat over that hat, and I'll probably trim some of this off. Okay. Which with the hat on, closed, now I just got to put it on the pole. To mount the witch, you first have to take a six and a half foot piece of three quarter inch electrical conduit. You get it in the electrical department at Home Depot, and then you pound it a foot and a half in the ground. Make sure you're not near any utilities or water lines or electric, electric lines, cable lines. And then paint it up, you can paint it halfway up black just so it doesn't show as much. And then you have to take the witch and slide it over the pole. You have to put a little hole in the skirt and slide it over the pole and attach it. Slide it through the electrical conduit holders. You might have to take the screw out and open them up all the way and put the screw back in. And then tighten them both up, the one up here and the one down by the skirt. Tighten them real tight or she'll slide down the pole. Then you install the broom. Just slide it through the two conduit holders that you put on the bottom and tighten it up. And that's about it on how to install her. Still kind of bugs me that her legs are a little too far apart and the paint's coming off her hands, but I'll fix that next year. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't try it, maybe you learned some techniques you'll use on one of your own projects. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching.